what is climate change? I mean, I think the question that the young lady asked over here is very valid. Young people are highly intelligent, but I wonder whether they're being told, or which they're entitled to, all the facts in relation to this. Oh my when God. I asked... Well, just a moment, Alice, you, you've been speaking for most of the night. When I... When, when I... When I asked Tanya Plibersek, was the Deputy Leader of the Labor Party and the potential Deputy Prime Minister, was carbon dioxide the big issue in relation to climate change? And she said yes. I then said, well, that being the case, what percentage of the atmosphere is made up of carbon dioxide? What is causing climate change? Is it carbon dioxide? Uh Yes, um, carbon dioxide pollution is a major contributor. Okay, so to... can I ask you, this is not a, a trick question, what percentage of the Earth's air is carbon dioxide? Oh, I don't know. And I say, hang on, you don't know what percentage of the atmosphere is carbon dioxide and yet you're prepared to stand the economy on its head to address a problem, the detail of which you don't know. So when I then explain that the percentage of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, Alice, is how much? Reserve Alice? How much of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? To answer Alice? the question, Scott Morrison has said he Al believes Alison, in how climate much? change Alice, and how much? he wants to do something about Alice, it. Alice, how much carbon dioxide is the problem? How much carbon dioxide is there in the atmosphere? I'm not a scientist. Too much. I don't oh. know. I'm well, a Well, hang on. If you're going to argue the case, you ought to know. It's 0.04 of a percent. And of that 0.04 of a percent, human beings around the world create 3 percent. And of that 3 percent, Australia creates 1.3 percent. But if carbon dioxide is 0.04 percent of the atmosphere, and human beings are responsible for 3% of that 0.04%. And Australia is responsible for 1.3% of the 3% of the 0.04%. It's like saying there's a granule of sugar on the Harbour Bridge. Clean the bridge up, it's dirty. Surely if a political party doesn't know the quantum of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, what the hell are we standing the economy on its head for? Demonising coal-fired power driving everyone into renewable energy, which is not available, not reliable and not affordable, plonking us in electric cars, giving us nearly the dearest electricity in the world when we're rich in energy resources, exporting coal so that China and India and Japan can have cheap electricity, and we sit here swallowing this ideological rubbish, putting industry at risk, jobs at risk and burying the economy.